guys, UK Hounder here, bringing you another Lego City review. From my point of view, it's been a little bit of a, it's been a long time since I've ever made, since I've made one of these before. Today, guys, I'm going to be doing, as you know by the title, da -da 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 -da, the 2017 Police Station. Now, if I just move the camera a little bit, zoom out. There we go. There's, there's the box. See, so, yeah, it displays it perfectly at the front of the box. So then if I turn it round here, this is, this is set 60141 and I need to check the age thing, I just have to tell you, it's recommended, it's recommended for ages 6 to 12, and it doesn't say how many pieces there are in there, it never actually says, then there's a policeman up there, it doesn't actually tell you how many bags there are. Which is thing, which is bad. But anyway, I'm gonna open this up this box, and I'll see. I'll show you guys what's inside. Okay, guys, let's see what we get. You get bag number nine. Just gonna pull these out randomly like I do. Bag number four. An unnumbered piece. There's lots of stuff in here. Bag number seven, I think I can make out on there. Five. Bag number two. Bag number three. It's all the stuff you'd expect to get. So every time I order from Amazon, I think it goes perfect. Bag number six, or is it nine? I'm not. I don't actually know. May as well get this out. You got your instructions and stickers. Where do I put these? I need to put it where I know they'll be. I'm going to pop them down here. Anyway, what's next here? There you go. We've go, got another bag, bag number 10, there are so many bags in this set, but it's never going to break the record out of the city centre, which is built, hun which is literally built, a city set, which is literally built one state. Bag number one, and guys, before the next one, let me know if you want to see some, some updates, I'll just do them yearly, and bag number eight. Woo! Okay, let's build this thing. Okay guys, the police station is finished. So, as always, we're going to start off with the minifigures. First of all, here we've got a biker cop. Here, and I have seen this face before, but I don't know when. And here's a motorcycle cop, but he's wearing a tie. I don't know why. But anyway, we'll look at vehicles in a bit. Put that there. Next one, this lady we have definitely seen before, she's in this truck, okay, but that came with the bank, but anyways, um, she's exactly the same as she was, nothing to show, nothing new to show with, with this one. Okay, next up, right, you know what, we have seen this one before. Uh, where is he? Where is he? I can't. I can't find him. You know, what, guys, I'm gonna have a look over here because he's def. He's definitely in. Where is he? I can't find. You know, I can't find him. But it's just the same minifigure you get in prison in the prison island, if you've seen that episode. Okay, and last but not least, the helicopter pilot. We have seen this outfit before, and this face. And where's the minifigure? You know, I know where the minifigure is, but she's the helicopter pilot there. But anyways, that's the police done, so I'm going to pop them to one side. Now it's on to this guy, he's the police dog. 
It's exactly the same as some of the other police dogs I've got in this series. How about, so first of all, this guy here. We have definitely seen this outfit before, one of the very close police stations I've had. This guy came with a fire station I used to have, and it's practically the same. This guy we have, this face we've seen before, the cap we've seen before, but I don't think we've seen this outfit before. But anyways, um, next one, we've, we've totally seen this one before in the mobile command centre. You see, she's right there. Anyways, that is the minifigures done with, and there's also some dynamite with this set. Move the handcuffs to one side. You know what? You've already seen the handcuffs. Anyway, let's have a look at this. Let's do the criminal's vehicle first, because the police has a lot to get through. Mm. So here we go. Here's the criminal's vehicle. There's a number plate there. Then there's a crowbar and a spanner on this side. And then, as usual... Top comes off, for example, and then if I just remove his bag, there we go, I've removed his bag, and now I'm going to sit the guy inside of the truck, so there you go, the top will come off as usual, as usual with these cars, dear this is falling off, everything's falling off today. Okay, I'm ne nearly there. There we go, he's in there now. So top comes off to put your minifigure in. This has got to be the coolest feature yet. Look at this. There's a swivel contraption here, which does do a 360. And also you can put a minifigure inside. I'm going to give this guy the dynamite. Getting some... Okay, here we go. There we go. The reason I've given this... I'm not going to tell you why I've given this, this guy the dynamite, but we'll come back to that. Ah, uh, then. Pause. Pause on that one. But now it's time for the police ones. Anyway, let's start off with the... This one's came with all the police stations I've had in my life. Police car. You get... The number 10 police car, that is so many vehicles. They're all numbered. For example, the truck from the bank is number 5. Mobile command centre uh, is number 4. I don't know where else I'm going to find them. Uh, this is the number 10 one. And look at this design, it's very different. As usual, say it with me. Top comes off. And you can put your minifigure inside. So let's go simple. I think you can put... You can put, some, put, put a bunch of handcuffs in here, I think. You know what? Whoops. Let's put one pair of handcuffs in. In the back. In the back bit it here. Then I'm going to sit her in. Get in there. Okay. And there we go, she's in, and yes, it does fit, for your information. And it's fallen, and it will fall off, by, by some chances. Anyway, what's next? Let's do this mini bike here. This is the new design of bike. This is the number six bike. Like, we have had a bike before. I mentioned this, but the bike in here, this one's the number, th this one's number three. So I've got three four, five, and ten. Yeah, anyway, these wheels. And it's nice about these designs, they don't have any brakes, so... Brilliant. And as usual with these bikes, there is no top off, put your minifigure inside. But, um, this is one of the many vehicles. This is, it's just practically the same in drill. With bike, with these kind of bikes. Then we've got the helicopter here. And I think this 
um, if I just remove the, this OMG how literally some of it's come off anyway now I've got it back I'll take ink that off off and then I'll put it back on but look at this this is I think this has been used since 2014 so that isn't a new design but it is unique stuff and as usual with these these spin around and then that spins around yep and as usual, canopy lifts, top lifts up, and I'm going to put my minifigure inside. So yeah guys, that's vehicles done. Now, the moment literally everyone who I think is watching this video right now has been waiting for the main attraction, the police station now. Just need all these to go backstage and out of the camera's view let me try this I'm holding it literally right in front of the screen but I can't see but anyway what I'm going to do is we're going to look at each section individually and there's three sections where they split up and then a section is held together with these sort of pieces or something like that so first of all let's look at this first section here see if I can split it off Cause I don't want. Oh, man, I don't think I can do this. I think I, if I just twizzle it round. Oh yeah, I know what's hindering it. Remove this piece. Then it'll come off. Yay! Then I'm gonna put this on. I may as well just put that back. Pop that backstage. That bit, just ignore it. We'll we'll come back to them. Pause. So if we look at this place, let's look at each bit individually. First bit I want to look at is this little walkway here. Where's my demonstration guy? Where you can easily pose minifigures. If I could just zoom in a bit, a little bit. There we go. So yeah, technically I can just pose minifigures on here. So then if you come down here. If you come down here a little bit and watch. Is a garage and it opens up as normal, definitely. Then I've got my number 10 police car. Can't believe I still can't believe there's 10 numbered vehicles. Then I'm gonna slip this in and then I'm gonna close it up. It's simple, that's it, done. I'll be going and I'll be just goodbye, right? Wrong! Because there's a new feature. You can take it out by hand if you want to, but if you turn to the back, if any of you even pay attention to the back, we can shoot it off. Watch. By pulling, by pressing this lever. See? No, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Just open it. See? Actually, I'm going to make sure you can see that. From that, from this version. Don't fall off. <sighs> that was a close one. Anyway, guys, if I get my minifigure again. You can go back in, in there. Well done for that demonstration. And then you can come up here, and then if we look at the very, if I zoom into the very top, there you can see. If I open this one up, there's a door here, which leads to this compartment here. It's just like a computer, and I think it's a security system, but for what? And I think you can practically just sit a minifigure, sit a minifigure in there and stuff. So yeah, what what's it? What might it be a security system for? We will come back to that at later, guys. Pause, pause on that one too. So yeah, that section is absolutely brilliant. But let's have a look at the next section. So if I just pop this section to one side, and we, I promise, guys. We will put it together for the for the score. Hold on. Now I've got to separate these. This one should be easier. If I look, yeah, it'll be easy. So if we look here, um, we're gonna look at each part of this. This is like the headquarters bit, and it also comes with this brick remover. Should have really mentioned that at the start. But anyway, if you look, looky here, we can see. For the fact that this my that that little compartment up there might open this 
thing it says police on it and there's two flashing lights but anyway guys we're gonna look at each floor of this in turn because there's three floors the most i've ever seen with a lego set with a lego police station in my life i actually had a life before youtube you know so i think this compartment here is where they take mug shots if you look in there there's because there's a camera and a com computer there so and then I think that's a like a re stand up reception desk and all that and all that jazz hold on that that bit's wonky so yeah that floor is basically like a reception slash mug shot area and yes I like these new style of windows they're good they're dead good and then there's an open and closed door basically there's all and now let's look at let's go on let's go and look at the next floor here so there's a water fountain it's a fountain then there's another computer that's just like this one except there's no camera and there's also a door there which connects up with that section see there's the door there so yep yeah. Uh, not very much to see on this wall, but if you look in here, if you look at, up at the third bit, there's another computer with a mug on, and it's also got that very important coffee machine. And if I have a police station without a coffee machine, people. Now, if we look at the top, if I just bring it down, gotta be very careful. There's a helipad here, it's very small, but if I bring my helicopter on, phew. Anyway, as I was sitting, where were we? Ah, yes. The helicopter fixed on perfectly, you know. Anyways, that's the headquarters part. Let us, so let's zoom out on this. This is pretty cool. I like this, like, new style of window and all that stuff. Anyways, let's move on to this all-important jail section. Why is this bit loose? You may, I hear you asking. We'll come back to that pause and also, also guys, that is, if we, if we look, if we look there, if you just about see it, there's a welcome home map, which is linked up to that door over there. I need to move, move this HQ, move this HQ station, this HQ part of the station out of here. So if I link that back up and put the map back down, map back, map back down, there we go. So anyways, the jail section. There's a, that's the door there. So, so we're going to look at each floor individually because each floor has a cool bit. So yeah, there we go. You can see there's a toilet and a bed. Not much detail on the first floor to be honest, but if we look here, <gasps> a trap door. And so that's access to the second floor once again. There's another bed and toilet. And we need to look at a feature. So now if we turn to this side, why if we turn to this side, I hear you asking, you'll find out. If we look here, this is like Lego Technic and stuff. If I open this, what could this be doing here? Well, this is where dynamite comes in. If I just take your dynamite, good sir. If I just throw this dynamite in and... Then if I zoom out on this, there will be a yellow button if you build the instructions correctly. Just move that out of the way. Press the button. Then you can break out whatever thief is in there. Uh -huh. This is a bit like Lego Technic and stuff. So yeah guys, that will be what's under that part of the jail. And guys, if you are hoping... So guys, it's now time for the for the big score, so hey, come along everyone. Okay, I need to co completely reconnect. Reconnect it it now. Okay, there we go. Oh man, how am I going to get this back together? You know what guys, I know how to do it. I'll cut ahead in the video until I've done it. Welcome back everyone. So overall, what do I think of this toy? Well, I really, really like it.
like it. It's a 10 plus out of 10. The reason it's got 10 plus is because of this feature. It's got, just because of that. And also, like, the detail on the set and this, this feature. Brilliant. That's what got it to 10 plus as well as the detail on this bit here. It is up, this is a set is brilliant. It is way better than anything I have ever seen before. Oh, it is absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend you get 27, whatever year you're watching this in, maybe in the distant future, I highly recommend, no matter how much it's cost, you get this set. It's from 2017, it's at 60141, and yep, yeah, just come by. So, sadly though, that is just about going to wrap up today's video here. It has been a little bit long due to, like, looking at everything here. But it's been brilliant. So, in the next video, we're going to be reviewing another set. And I will be focusing on a bunch of police sets. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. So I do. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.